Hello everyone, my name is Hemingway Jones. Welcome to the channel. This is YouTube's best kept secret pen show. The place where we talk about pens, inks, journals, and journaling, and just about everything and anything that's going to keep you inspired. I'm coming to you today from my library as I often am. And today is a very special video because today I'm going to offer a roadmap to those of you that have been wondering, how do I get into this hobby? Maybe you've been watching me and other creators out there you're getting all this information you just want a simple road map into this hobby so today I'm going to give you three steps to start your fountain pen journey Let's do a quick pen check today. I'm using the Benu Ambrosia in Brown Orchid. This is a magical fountain pen. It's just the most beguiling looking fountain pen I've ever seen. It's full of glitter and depth and it has this ring of flowers around the cap that look like amber. It's a very interesting pen. You may have heard they just moved their operations out of Russia into Armenia for obvious reasons. But this pen is an easy writer and it's a lot of fun to use. So today's video is gonna be about how to get into this hobby. Now, like Mount Fuji, there are many paths to its summit. This is one of them. So I'm sure that those of you that have been into this hobby for a long time are going to scream at your screen and say, why did you tell them to do that? You should have done this instead. If you would do me a favor, take all of that energy and put it into the comments. I'd love to hear which method you would use to guide people into this hobby. Personally, I think this is the best choice because this will give you the complete overall fountain pen experience for not too much money. You can see if you like using them, if you enjoy the process of filling a pen, all of these things. And if it's not for you, you can move on without putting too much of your cash to a lost cause. So let's get into it. Step number one is to buy a pen. Now there are a ton of beginner pens out there. Everything from the $8 Jin Hao's to the $10 Pilot Kakunos. I love that pen with its winky face. So cute. To Lamy Safari. So many. But my choice where I think you get a tremendous value for the money that you're putting down is could you say it for me? I bet some of you could. The Twisby Eco. The Twisby Eco is a $33 pen. It's not hugely expensive. It's about the price of a dinner at a fast food restaurant for four. So it, hopefully it's within everyone's budget, but it gives you so much value for what you get. It comes in a lot of different nibs, but I'm going to tell you which nib to buy. I would get the Twisby Eco in clear so that you can see through it, which is a lot of fun. And I would get a fine nib. I think for most people that are transitioning from Bic pens into fountain pens, a fine nib is a perfect access point because it's similar in its line width to what you're using and it'll be a little bit more of a gentle transition. We'll get you into stub nibs and other size nibs later. So one of the advantages of using a Twisby Eco fountain pen is that it is a piston filled pen so you get the complete experience of 
using a fountain pen. You can dip your nib into the ink, twist the piston, suck up the ink into it, just like a pen that can cost a thousand dollars. It's a really nice mechanism. It's great to fill directly from a bottle. You don't have to deal with cartridges or anything else. Another great advantage to using the Twisby Eco Fountain Pen is that if you get yourself into any trouble and you need to clean it thoroughly, it's super easy to field strip, to rinse out completely, to disassemble, even to swap out nibs if you decide that you no longer want to use a fine nib. So you just need to be careful about the fins on the back of the nib when you pop it out of the pen. But beside that, super easy and it's something that we do all the time to maintain maintain our pens. So the clear demonstrator Twisby Eco is a lot of fun because when you use that piston to suck up your ink, you're going to see it in there and the pen actually takes on the color in part of whichever ink you put in there. Now I'm going to choose an ink for you. You've been writing with a Bic pen for all these years and they're basically in blue or black. So let's have a little fun and pick something different for you, shall we? I'm going to choose Diamine Oxblood. Now, this is a really incredible shade of red that has nice dark contrast in it. It's very visceral. It looks fantastic on the page. It has a lot of contrast. It's in that spectrum of red that doesn't look like it's teacher's ink for correcting a paper. It truly holds up as a correspondence ink or journaling ink. It is just a fantastic overall color. Now it may be weird if you're trying to use it in a business setting or whatnot. You can make that choice yourself and pick something different, but I'm trying to get you into this hobby and I suggest Diamine Oxblood. It has another advantage too because it cleans up fairly easily. So if you make a bit of a mess, it's not going to be so bad getting it out of your clothes and off your hands unless you take a bath in it. So these are two reasons that I think this is a great beginner's ink so add that to your cart you got the Twisby Eco in clear with a fine nib and now you're going to add the Diamine Oxblood as well so so far you're into this hobby for about $50 you have the Twisby Eco fountain pen in fine for about $33 the Diamine Oxblood in 80 milliliters, which is about $15. So you're just below $50. So now I'm going to spend a little bit more of your money because you have your pen, you have your ink, and now you need something to write on. And I'm going to suggest the Goulet Tomoe River 68 grams per square meter paper notebook in an A5 size, which comes in at around $8. So now you're at $56. You have all of these things and you're ready to begin. Now, why am I recommending this particular notebook? One, $8 is a value for that quality of paper and Tomoe river paper brings out all the shading and the pleasure of writing with a fountain pen. If you've been writing in moleskins or loose leaf and you've seen inks feather out, you will really enjoy using a nicer, heavier grade paper. It's very slick. It has a bit of feedback to it and it just feels really nice and pleasurable to write, especially with a smooth and fantastically performing fountain pen like the Twisby Eco. So there you have it for $56. Now I guess you have to ship it. You are now equipped with everything you need for this hobby. The Twisby Eco fountain pen is an extraordinary pen at any price. I think this is a fantastic writer. I'm using mine constantly. I put it up against pens that cost 10 times as much and sometimes I choose it. It's extraordinary. I think you'll enjoy using it with its piston fill. It's so fun to watch the ink suck up into it and it's a fantastic way to get into this hobby. 
So now you have everything you need to get into this hobby. It's about $56. You have a fantastic pen, some excellent ink, and some beautiful paper. So there's nothing stopping you now from beginning your journey to journal, to write, to learn how to use calligraphy perhaps, or whatever it is that you find joy in these fantastic writing instruments and all these incredible inks. Come on this road, come on this journey with us. It's a super fun hobby. There's fantastic people to meet, incredibly interesting conversations, and you never run out of things to learn. It's engaging and interesting all the time. So what do you think? Is this a great way to get into this hobby? I think it is. If you disagree with me, come at me in the comments. I'd love to discuss it. So thank you very much for watching this video. I release videos every Thursday at noon. So expect one next week and I'll see you then further up the road. Take care.